Welcome to iLecture Online. With this playlist, we're going to learn how to multiply and divide expressions that contain radicals. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the distributive property. And it turns out when we multiply, we still apply the distributive property. So for example, when we have this multiplication here, we have the square root of 3 multiplied by the quantity 14 plus the square root of 2. We realize that the square root of 3 is multiplied both by the 14 and the square root of 2. Over here, we have the same situation. We're going to multiply the square root of 5 by both terms inside the parentheses. So when we do that, we get the following result. This becomes equal to 14 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. And now we simply have to simplify what we have left. So this can be written as 14 times the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 times 2, which is 6. And that would be then the result of that multiplication. Over here, we do the same thing. We multiply these two together. So we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 15 minus the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. The rule then says we can multiply what's inside the radicals. So this becomes equal to the square root of 75 minus the square root of 10. And then we realize we can simplify this because this can be written as the square root of 25 times 3 minus the square root of 10. And of course, the square root of 25 is 5. So this is 5 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 10. And that is the most simplified form of that expression. So you can see that when we multiply, even when we have radicals, we still use the old properties, in this case, the distributive property. And that is how it's done.